This is Twit. Apple CEO Tim Cook has been wearing a weird watch. Apparently, he's been test driving a glucose monitor. According to CNBC, Apple has a team dedicated to the holy grail in diabetes, non-invasive, in other words, no pinprick, continuous glucose monitoring. That's huge if they do it. If they find the way, it's huge. Uh He's been spotted at the campus wearing this watch. I don't, I don't know how they know that that's what that watch does. A source, I think it has a specialized band. A uh, source said that Cook was wearing a prototype glucose tracker on the Apple Watch that points to future applications that would make a device a must-have for millions of people with diabetes. Now, of course, Apple could easily have this. The problem is to put it out as a product, you have to get FDA approval. This is non-trivial. This requires trials. I'm sure Apple will do it. They've got the money. Cardia also, is the company that's done something along this line. That's with, Vic and with Dutra's company. Vic yeah. and Dutra's company. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, it's not quite clear that it's even an Apple-made product from the story. Like, maybe it's uh, a third-party yeah, device an accessory that hooks into the it Apple out. Watch. Yeah. yeah, we don't know. Apparently, he talked well, uh, in February at the University of Glasgow to some students, and he didn't say if it was a medical device from Medtronic or Dexcom, some other company, or an Apple prototype. He just said. See, the other thing is here is that is that it interests me. So my mother is a type one diabetic, has been since I was born. Um, my fault. And uh, there are other signals too. There are sets of signals that if you're going into an insulin reaction or if you're going into acidosis, uh, it's like uh, you know going into a, a, an epileptic seizure or going into um, uh, Tourette's out, outburst. There's 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 things that may be predictive. With AI that go beyond well, the we've single seen measure. Even the heart rate monitor on the Apple Watch, we've seen evidence that it could be used to detect tachycardia or uh, as you have fibr fibrillation right. and yep. warn the user, hey, you're, you know, your 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 uh, heart rate is on uh, heartbeat is on uh, un abnormal. You better maybe get one of those cardia out and, and right. do an, an EKG. These are be hugely valuable things, and it would take something a, a product that's kind of been languishing, looking for a, a niche to fill. It's been selling, I guess, okay, but yeah. isn't anything anybody needs. Man, if how, there's 11 million diabetics in the country, every yeah. one of them would buy something they didn't have yeah. to. Oh God, yes. Yeah. And and by Plus the way, a pressure. lot of people who aren't diabetics. Tim Cook's not a diabetic. He said he lost 30 pounds. He's just been paying attention to how what he eats eat. affects his spikes oh, wow. his sugar, wow. and and it's he's been able to use that to his health advantage. So it's a really big market, frankly.